So in the last uh, video, what we looked at was uh, one of the reasons why we needed to have uh, photons of a certain, uh, maybe a certain value to actually overcome the, uh, the electrons which are trapped in effectively an energy well. And in order for these electrons to escape and become photoelectrons, we need to actually get them out of that well. And this has tied up quite nicely with uh, one of Einstein's equations. And what he said was that the energy of the photon, which is HF, was equal to the work function plus the kinetic energy of uh, those photoelectrons. Okay, so the first part of the equation, HF, this comes from the fact that uh, we can look at the energy of the photon and relate that to the frequency of the associated wavelength. We then have this bit here, which is what we call the work function. And this work function is effectively a measure of the size of that hole that the electrons are actually coming out of. And then finally, this is the maximum potential, uh, sorry, this is the maximum kinetic energy that the things could have. So EK being the kinetic energy, uh, which obviously we know is equal to a half mv squared. And you can often find the mass of the electron in your data book. So this is how much energy the electron goes flying off with after uh, it's been liberated from that atom. And this equation here is known as Einstein's equation. What we find is that different materials have a different uh, size energy gap. And from the equation we just had where HF is equal to the work function plus the kinetic energy, the EK or KE of those particles, uh, we can look at maybe a scenario where we, we just, just about get the uh, electron out of that uh, sort of energy well onto effectively the very edge of that um, material. And what we can then say is that the kinetic energy is going to be zero. And what we can look at then is something called the threshold frequency. So we can say that HF is equal to the work function. And provided we're looking at um, the minimum frequency of the instant radiation or the minimum energy of that photon, uh, we can then call this uh, F0 or F0, and that stands for the, the, the threshold frequency. So this threshold frequency, the minimum frequency at which we start to liberate the electrons, is equal to the work function of that material divided by Planck's constant. And this thing here is a real crux of why the photoelectric effect is important and has something to do with quantum physics. Because it doesn't matter how many red photons you have landing on that uh, or instant on that piece of metal, if all of these are below the, uh, the, the threshold frequency, not a single one of them will allow an electron to be liberated. However, if you just had one ultraviolet um, photon, that would allow one photoelectron to be emitted. And therefore, um, this told us that actually um, light doesn't always behave as a wave, because effectively all these uh, wavelengths would all add together, all the energy of all these waves would start to stack up and stack up, and then let the, the electrons escape. But what we have in this case is that it's below this certain frequency, nothing escapes. And above that frequency or above a certain energy photon, which is explained by one photon giving off one uh, photoelectron, uh, that's why we start to think about this quantum world and how light can actually be a particle as well. To sum up the work that Einstein did on the photoelectric effect, uh, the energy of those instant photons, HF, is equal to the uh, work function plus their maximum kinetic energy. So one photon being absorbed by the electron, some of the energy is used to actually get the electron out of the energy hole that we have over here, and the rest of it is then uh, put into its kinetic energy. There are two things that come from this. First of all, the maximum kinetic energy is independent of the intensity. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many things you have coming in, uh, that doesn't affect the kinetic energy. What, what does affect it is the, the frequency of that radiation. And the second point, is that the rate of emission of photoelectrons, obviously above the threshold frequency, is proportional to the intensity, okay? Effectively, one photon needed to liberate one electron. So you, and this all kind of provided uh, a lot of evidence um, that uh, light can be considered as a particle. But if a wave of light can be considered a particle, does that mean that particles can also have their own wavelengths?